In today's episode of Garage Noise, we'll be correcting imperfections in your clear coat. I'll share with you some simple steps on how to remove trash or dust, fish eyes, and orange peel. So let's dig in and get started. Ooh, we got a little fish eye there. We've got some kind of contaminant on there, even though I washed this like four or five times. I didn't see it after the first coat because it probably happened in the first coat. But I didn't see it in the first coat. I put the second coat on, which is fine. It looks like it started to cover it on the second coat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray a little bit more clear on there. This is how we're going to correct this. We're going to spray a little bit more clear on there. One more coat. We're not going to run it. We're going to let it flash off really good. Now it's going to leave a little dry spray around here, but that's okay because you can wet sand and buff that. Okay. An added coat of clear is going to give me more material to wet sand those out. But these things happen and this is a good opportunity to teach you guys how to correct these things and overcome these kind of issues. Okay. So we've got a few things here we're going to work with. I've got some 5,000, some 3,000 grit Trizac paper. We're gonna use those a little bit later on. We'll set those up there. I've got a piece of 2,000 grit wet sanding paper. We're gonna use that as well. And then a, a soft block for that. And then I also have this uh, Kovax little square block. We're gonna use this to denib the dust particles. This is 2000 grit on here. Now you could use something more aggressive. This is a 1200 here. I might hit it down with the 1200 and then go over to the 2000. So what I'll do now is just go around and denib any dust that I see, and then we'll address these fish eyes. So basically I want to just take, there's a little dust particle here. Let's see if you can see that. I'll zoom in here. A little dust particle right here. I'll just hit it a little bit with this 1200. Doing a circular motion, you can see it coming out there. See, now it's mostly knocked down with that. There's a little bit left. I'm going to go over it with the 2000 to refine those scratches. I don't want to buff 2000, I want to buff 3000 or 5000. So we'll go over this with 3000 or 5000 as well. Okay, so now that particle is gone. So I'm going to hit this with the 1200 to start off with. Now, if they're real deep, which these are, these are borderline deep, uh, you may have to apply a little bit of clear coat, catalyzed clear coat in there after you wet sand it to totally smooth it out. They could have been from a lot of different things, but it's just a reaction to what was on the surface. And fish ice can come from things that are in the air as well that land on the clear coat. Mostly silicone, really. Okay, we're just going to go over it with the 2000 now. And then I'll run over this, basically this whole door with uh, 2000. Then we'll do 3000 on the orbital sander, the Trizac. And then 5000. And we'll buff it out. So I'm going to wrap this 2000 in this pad, fold it halfway, fold the other half and I can have a little edge here to hold it. And then we'll use this to wet sand it out. Spray a little water here on here on the paper and on the door. We'll hold it flat, sand it in one direction. Couple things to remember here when you're wet sanding, you wanna make sure that panel is completely clean before you start wet sanding. You don't want any trash in between your sandpaper and your paint. That can cause scratches in your clear coat that are very difficult to buff out. So if you have a nice uniform sound when you're wet sanding, that's fine. If you hear a grittiness, stop what you're doing, clean your sandpaper, clean the panel again, and then you'll be good to go. If it turns out that your fish eyes are too deep to wet sand out and you want them to be perfect, I have a video that shares with you how to fill those with a little bit of catalyzed clear coat and wet sand those out. I'll leave that link at the end. That's it for the orange peel on the top surface. That's where the orange peel that I wanted to take care of was. Down here, there's no real orange peel, but there is a few little particles of dust. So we're gonna go over this with, lightly with the 2000. And then what I'll show you is how we go and step it up to the 3000 and then the 5000 
with the orbital sander. So you use this wet, you wet it down, wet down where you're sanding. Now you can do this by hand or you don't even have to take it this far and use 3000. You could polish out the 2000 grit scratches. It's just a little bit easier to polish out a 5000 grit scratch and I'd rather not spend a lot of time buffing. I'd rather spend the time sanding out those 2000 grit scratches till they're really fine and easy to buff. So it's up to you. Obviously uh, these cost money um, and these are about $7 a piece. Now I'm just using that soft foam pad that I used with the 2000 grit sandpaper and we're squeegeeing off all the excess water to get it prepared to buff. After using the 5000 grit Trizec, you're gonna be amazed with how shiny and flat the surface is. Here's a good look at the surface after using the Trizec 5000. You can see it's very flat and smooth. It has almost a shine to it. The fish eyes came out beautifully. Now all we need to do is buff and polish this. But because we finished this with 5000 grit sandpaper, the Trizec 5000, we can go ahead and use the black finishing pad. I'm gonna use some CSI compound and we're just gonna polish this up, shine it up. I like to start with like a foot section here. I'll get that done and then I'll move on to the next section until it's all buffed and polished. I'm using a rotary polisher here. It spins in one direction. You could also use an orbital polisher, which oscillates so it goes in all different directions. It's a little bit more forgiving for beginners. So there is a learning curve to polishing with a rotary. You can burn through the paint, so you wanna be careful of that. But now we have this all polished out, so all we have to do is put this back together and we have a beautiful finished product for the customer. So listen, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I appreciate each and every one of you watching, and we'll see you next time on Garage Noise.